Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today's date is October 13, 2022. Just had CPI data, which was much stronger than expected. You can go to our website at ForexLive.com, see all the details of that data. Uh, we are seeing the uh, dollar move sharply higher. We're seeing stocks move lower. Dow is down over 400 points. NASDAQ down 276 points. S&P down minus 63 points. Looks like all three measures are going to close below their 200-week moving averages this week. Uh, and uh, the terminal rate for the Fed funds is now up to 4.75 to 5%, somewhere around 4.83% or 85% is where that's targeting right now in the futures market. Uh, that is um, uh, up 25 basis points from the prior high and up from the central tendencies from the Federal Reserve at 4.6%. So let's take a quick look at the technicals. We'll start off by taking a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar. Looking at uh, that pair, the price has uh, dipped below this uh, swing area here. The swing area goes between the 0 0.9662 and 0 0.96836 level. Uh, the importance of 0 0.9662. Uh, recall, go back to the weekly chart, go all the way back to June and to October. This period way over here, the low price during this uh, this uh, floor area through here came in at 0 0.96. 6.2. So we are below that level, uh, currently trading at 0 0.9647. Uh, traders will be watching that 6.2 level as close resistance now. As if the price can stay below that level, that keeps the bears firmly in control uh, for this uh, currency pair. And uh, we should see uh, lo lower levels on the downside. We've en entered into this extreme area here and uh, also dip below uh, briefly. I guess the uh, target level at 0 0.9635. Uh, we are finding a little bit of support against that low level through here. Uh, we'll see if that level is able to uh, somehow stall the uh, fall. And uh, 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 But a break below that level would have traders looking further to the downside, looking toward our, toward our extremes through here uh, for the uh, euro versus US dollar. So watch 0 0.9662 if we move above that level. Uh, then uh, 0 0.9683 should keep the price below that level if the sellers are to remain in control. Taking a look at the dollar versus yen uh, off the uh, monthly chart, we above the 147 level, 147.50. Now uh, maybe getting um, uh, uh, a little bit uh, ahead of itself, especially with the uh, Bank of Japan. But from a technical perspective, you can't fault it from a fundamentalist perspective. You can't fault it as well. So uh, go with the flow. Uh, close risk here would be at 147.25. That's the upper uh, channel trend line here. Uh, we are uh, currently trading at 147.40 uh, and into you know highest level since whatever 1998, I think. Um, but uh, so uh, the pair, um, the bulls are remaining control on the dollar versus yen. Uh, risk, close risk, 147. 25. If we move back below that level, we could see some profit taking. Um, we also have to be aware of the Bank of Japan potentially coming in because markets are disorderly and they don't like a fast moving market. Remember, uh, over here, when the Bank of Japan intervened, it was off of interest rate moves. Uh, the Bank of Japan kept their rates unchanged uh, and uh, th th that came shortly after the uh, Federal Reserve raised the rates by 75 basis points. So we saw this rotation, uh, quick rotation to the upside. Are we going to see something like that and, and some intervention? I don't know, but uh, it seems like um, uh, the bulls are in control for the dollar versus yen. Let's take a look at the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Of course, we've got the move to the upside pre-market on the rumored uh, backtracking of the budget from the trust trust administration uh we are seeing the price uh, move back below the 200 hour moving average as a result of the data this morning uh we will uh, watch this swing area on the top side so we have two things moving in tandem here with the sterling versus us dollar one the budget to the uh, us cpi the uh, budget uh, increased the pound sterling the cpi is decreasing the pound versus us dollar increasing the dollar buying and uh we're currently uh, back below the 200 hour moving average of 1.18 set seven four uh that's going to be really cl uh, close resistance also watch this a swing area between 1.12109 and 1.12446 pound sterling very unsteady uh dueling uh stories going on so be careful with that uh currency pair the uh dollar versus uh swiss franc if we take a look at the daily chart we're up um testing and breaking through briefly 
at least uh, for now. The uh, high price that we saw for the year, the high price uh, going back to the month of May, which came in at 1.00637. The high price uh, today just reached 1.00701. We're currently trading at 1.0059, which is uh, just below the 63 level. Obviously, there's some apprehension uh, at that level, at these highs through here. Uh, we will uh, see if the momentum can continue uh, for that uh, for that currency pair. Uh, the uh, high that high price that we saw this week came in at a par 20. That's going to be a, a, another close uh, support level on any sort of dip to the downside. Stay above that level. Buyers remain in control. Um, like the fact that the uh, price action here over the last uh, few days has been able to get below the 100 hour moving average. So the sellers had their shots, uh, including right before the uh, data, you know, maybe helped by the uh, 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 Bank of England's uh, and the uh, dollar selling as a result of that. But uh, we are seeing the rotation back to the upside here uh, for that uh, currency pair. Dollar versus uh, Canada, uh, that's uh, racing to the upside as well. Take a look at the uh, weekly chart. Uh, we broke above the uh, 138.52 level. That's going to be a close, well, not, that's not really that close anymore. Uh, 139.70 is uh, the. Um, where the price is trading 138.52 was this lower into the extreme areas here uh going back to the uh covid period there uh sort of in nowhere nowhere's uh land here for this uh currency pair uh any sort of clues might be um would, would probably come off of the you know when we get these uh sharp moves um moves you want to put a, a fibonacci i like the fact that it held 100 hour moving average fibonacci of the uh sharp move to the upside start to measure the 38.2% retracement of that move to the upside. That that would take the price all the way down to around the 139 level. Actually, as we move into the new highs, it is at 139. Uh, so we're at uh, 77. Um, you know, fast move to the upside, hold 38.2% retracement is more bullish uh, for the dollar versus Canada. Uh, and uh, we're also seeing the uh, Aussie versus, versus uh, U.S. dollar. Um, well, this is the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. It's uh, moving down toward the 2020 low. Who would have thought we would get down to uh, the 54.66 level? Um, just a few days ago, I said, I don't think we're going get, to get all the way down there. But uh, lo and behold, we are getting closer to that uh, level at uh, 0 0.54668. Uh, taking a look at the hourly chart, like the, uh, like the uh, um, dollar versus Canada. You probably have to put a Fibonacci retracement on the move to the downside. And the Aussie versus uh, U.S. dollar, that is uh, breaking below the, uh, th this uh, swing low, level, low levels here, similar to what we saw in the dollar versus Canada uh, in its uh, COVID extremes here. Uh, the uh, 62.52 level is now risk level off of the weekly uh, charts. So there you have a look at some of the major currency pairs after the hotter than expected CPI. We are seeing the Dow Industrial Average now down 517 points. The uh, S&P futures are down 80 points below their 200 week moving average at 3600. Uh, and the uh, NASDAQ uh, index is currently down 335 points. WTI crude oil futures are down $1.58. Greg Michalowski, good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.